The Essential Education Projector Range from Hitachi sponsors ICT programs. From this cramped corner of a small room in Kent, a global impact is being made. Here, a teacher turned advisor is reaching out worldwide to hundreds of thousands of people. Mandy Barrow is responsible for a school website that's become an international phenomenon. I never thought I'd get to the point when I would be getting at least 35,000 per day during the week. That's an achievement. Mandy's cyber creation became a monster with 11,000 pages of ideas, information and entertainment. It's regularly in the top 10 of UK education websites, alongside the BBC and the Times Educational Supplement. Woodlands has become a popular point of reference on British customs and traditions. An important resource for both pupils and teachers. How long did the Romans stay in Britain? Okay, Max, will you come and show? And the games are considered quite cool as well. Got it. It's put Woodlands Junior School at Tunbridge in Kent on the map. I can't tell you the number of people that have, have said to me, I've heard of your school because of the website. It, it's countless and it's in all, everywhere I go. I mean, I travel quite widely and, uh, oh, yes, you're the one with the wonderful website. Other teachers from other schools, we're always on your school website. It all started when the school was looking for a new technology coordinator in 1999. Mandy was asked to volunteer. After all, she was practically overqualified for the job. I knew a bit about the internet and I could surf the internet. I could change a cartridge in the printer. I could turn on the computer. Why did you suddenly seize this job with such enthusiasm? I thought it would be a good idea for our school to, to actually have its place on the internet, um, but I never realised it was going to be as big as it was. The turning point came when Mandy took a year out from teaching to spend time with family in Thailand. While she was there, she created links with a school near Bangkok and tried to use the internet to show pupils what life was like in Britain. And we looked at, to see if there was any websites to do with English culture and we couldn't find anything that was sort of like child friendly for students. Um, so we um, created the site. Mandy had spotted not so much as a gap in the market as a gaping chasm. Type British culture or British life into Google. It's not the British Tourist Authority, the British Council or the BBC that comes out on top. It's Woodland School in Tunbridge. I'm interested in, in English traditions and where we've come from. And I think it's very important for children to learn about where they come from, their culture and their background. And one particular part I'm going to show you is leisure activities where British people go on holiday. And our children are using this to compare where they go on holiday to, to where most people in Britain uh, go on holiday. So Jack, when you've been to the seaside on holiday, what was one of your favourite things to do? Um, well, I like to go on the pier because uh, I think they're really fun. The British Life pages are used in classrooms around the world, including Tunbridge. What have you learnt today from the website? That a third of the people go um, on holiday in August and July. Does that include you? Why is that? Because it's summer holidays and it's sunny. Well, what do you use the website uh, for? Looking things up about what we're learning in school. Yeah? And games? Um, not really, because I prefer learning to games. Oh, are you saying that because Mrs Usher, your teacher, is watching? <laughs> no, no. I really like that. Okay, what difference does the website make to your teaching? <laughs> well, what I really, where I really notice it is in the quality of their homework because we set um, weekly tasks in, within our topic and each child can do a high quality piece of research because they've got the website as their starting place. Helping with homework and revision was an early priority for Mandy and forms another zone on the website. We've had SATs coming up and the, and the children wanting to learn um, 
and revise for the sats and and we needed in a sort of like an easy place for the children to go to a one stop where they would go to to go and do their revision it's written in a child friendly way working with children you know what the children like so normally when they go to the internet and they go to another site they are faced with a whole page or pages full of just writing and the children find it very hard to actually pinpoint what they're looking for you know the actual facts Homework help is also used in the classroom, along with pages from the interactive zone. What language did the Romans speak? They learned to read and write Latin. The person who designed the website has looked what we have to do for the curriculum and she's put all the answers and all the information on there, so you don't really need to look in a book. It makes your job easier. Much, much easier, and it's so visual. The kids can see, see it on the screen, see the pictures. They all see the same thing together, just like the TV. So it's doing half your work for you? Well, not exactly. A quarter of it. <laughs> Do you know what the Romans did for us? Yes. What? And they gave us food and they built, built buildings and roads for us. Have you got a favourite page? Is that about the Romans or something else? Um, about the Romans. Oh, what's your favourite page about the Romans? Hadrian's Wall. Hadrian's Wall. And who built that? Um, Emperor Hadrian. Well done. Is it easy to learn things from the website? Mm. Do you like books as well? Mm, yeah, a bit. Which do you prefer? The website. Do you? Can you tell me why? Because it's got more stuff in it than... It's got... Because you can only get more information from the website than books. Than books, you have to turn all the pages, but you can just go back on the website. It's more fun as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And have you got a favourite page? What is it? Games. Mandy gives games as much prominence as anything in the national curriculum. The Woodlands Games was one of the fir very first zones that I actually put together. The tank game is, uh, is very, very popular. Do they have any educational value? <clears throat> yes, some of them do, actually. It's actually a mathematical game because they've got to look at the angle uh, when they're shooting the cannon out of the, the tank. The games being played here are part of a lunchtime computer club. We have the top ten games. Benny's quite good. That's your favourite, is it? Yeah. That one's a bit tricky, because you have to avoid getting hit by the other snake. Do you use the website a lot? Yes, I use it for homework, playing games on my boards, and all sorts of things. So it's a way of life, is it? Yeah. <laughs> The computer club involves other activities, such as exploring the history of the school and discovering distinguished former pupils. That one's in there. You're going to show me? Yeah, that one. That one? Yeah. And she's thrilled on being on the website, is she? Yeah, she is, hopefully. Are pupils aware of just how lucky they are, just how unique this website is? I hope is? they are. I hope they are. It's just always been a part of their lives. And as far as staff are concerned, um, it's made their lives a whole lot easier. It's made the internet a manageable tool for them um, so that it almost pre-selects sites that are safe and educationally valid. Is that one of the most important things, the peace of mind it gives you? Yeah, peace of mind and knowing that it's going to... It's, it's either going to give you information that's relevant or it's going to take you somewhere where you know the information is appropriate and secure. The number of unique visitors to the website and to each page is recorded each day by Mandy. Well, this is a typical week um, at our school um, for our website. Sunday gets a bit more busy. That's when the children are actually doing their homework, so they're visiting the homework help sections. Monday, again, it creases. And then the most busiest time always is sort of like Tuesday or Wednesday when we have lots of visitors. So here we've got 40,776. If we look at something like Shrove Tuesday, that was schools going, oh, it's Pancake Day, let's go and find out the history of Pancake Day and why we've got Pancake Day. We got a, um, 56,347 unique visitors on that day. Grateful visitors send email eulogies in their hundreds. Thank you very much. I'm having a crisis of how to include ICT in my maths lesson with no money for any resources and an Ofsted in two weeks. Now I know exactly what I can do. Other tributes come on the back of postcards, which, apart from making an impressive display, are also useful in the classroom. Hi, I'm Liliana and I live in Poppy in Italy. I read your website and it's very good, I like it. So, who can show us where... It's 
Italy is... Not surprisingly, the website has stimulated the teaching of ICT at Woodlands. The school has two ICT coordinators and two teaching assistants dedicated to the computer suite. Pupils learn how to make their own contributions to the website. Here they're writing book reviews and sending them to Mandy. And in the address book we have all sorts of contacts. At the bottom is the one for the website, woodlandsweb at hotmail.com. We're going to add it. I came to Woodlands Junior School because I'd seen the website and seen what a superb school it was and the standard of the website told me that the standard of everything else within the school was going to be good quality. Has ICT been given a greater priority in the school because of the website? I think so, but also because of the passion of the teachers. Everyone at the school is embracing ICT. We're trying to send our, our um, book reviews to Miss Barrett. Why are you doing that? So she could put them on the website. Does she put all of them on the website? Mm, no. She just put the special ones? Yeah. Do you think she'll put yours on the website? Maybe. Maybe. Is it a good one? Yeah. The children love to see their work and what they're doing in school or on the website. This is Ross's uh, book review that he sent me via email. So I will take that and copy it, um, put it onto um, the book review page that we have. This video is also destined for the website. It's a remake of Pirates of the Caribbean. And this goes on the website, right? Yeah. So does that mean you become like movie stars? Yeah. <laughs> is the camera work very difficult? And we have to like point down and up. Zoom in and zoom out, so it's quite hard, but it's fun. And do people look around the world at this? Yes, uh, they, they like to see what's going on in the classroom. Um, they will use this for seeing what the children in England look like. You know, what colour hair they got, uh, what clothes are they wearing, um, what the school, they can see a lot about the school on here as well. Actually, I quite like receiving things from the children at school because I get to see what's going on in school. Um, and it keeps me up to date with what's happening and I can see the children growing, which is nice. The school has started a computer club just for girls to encourage them to get involved in ICT. In this after-school session, they're creating dance routines on the computer and then performing them in the hall. I actually uh, came into education from industry. I worked in IT for approximately 20 years. Um, so I've been in an environment where there haven't been many women around uh, doing um, computer related jobs and this is an ideal opportunity for, in the 21st century, for girls to do just that. Mandy is now an ICT consultant with Kent County Council, helping other schools develop their own websites while continuing to look after the one at Woodlands. What advice do I give them? Keep it simple is the, the main thing about websites. So I spend a lot of time on this website, updating it, keeping it running, answering emails, checking the guest book, etc. So it's a large part of my life. You don't need that. You just need um, a very simple website that says, here's my school. Um, this, is, this is our place on the net. This is what we do. Uh, here are some photographs of the children working. And that's it. Has anyone ever suggested you should get out more? <laughs> all the time, all the time. For the sake of the thousands of people from all over the world who visit the Woodlands website, let's hope Mandy doesn't get out too often. Essential Education Projectors from Hitachi sponsor ICT programmes.